Hi guys, today I'll be doing Witcher 3, a game that I've been told by many, many people that I need to play, so I decided to look into it. Um, to be honest, I didn't really want to jump into it because it did look like a, a Skyrim open world, cr crazy free roam game. And it is. Um, it's great, it's wonderful, but th those type of games, when you have kids and whatnot, you can't really fully immerse yourself into it, um, even if you don't have kids and if you you're living with someone else it's kind of hard to fully immerse yourself with it <laughs> so I kind of jumped off that bag bandwagon uh, a decade or so ago um, but it was on the PlayStation Store for $49.99 that's with both expansion packs I would definitely say that's a wonderful price um, I was able to get it on sale for like 10 bucks because they had like a 75% off deal a few weeks ago it, it, if you wanted to wait to see if it goes on sale again then that's definitely worth it but even at 50 it's it's worth worth it um as i said it's a free roamer the it pretty much instantly puts you in the story so that's always awesome um some games even even when they have hours and hours of cinemas at the beginning i just can't get into it but this one it, it, it had about 30 minutes of cinemas at the beginning, but I was so into it that I could watch it. Um, one of the issues I had with this game is I, I normally like watching Netflix on one screen while playing on the other, and I couldn't do this because I was so wanting to focus on the game so much that I had to completely ignore Netflix, which to me means it's a good thing because you want to spend all your focus on that rather than the TV. Um, but it's... A fun environment it does make you feel like you're in it the in graphics are awesome it puts you in there from the get-go the fighting style was kind of weird at first because um, with Skyrim it's like a first-person view but this one it's if you play Skyrim in third person it, it's probably much like it so you probably have no problem there um, but it does have different conversations let's say you go to a bar someone might start a fight and you can either say whoa, whoa no or you can say bring it so it does have all the different RPG aspects where you can kind of make your character however mean or nice or passive you want to and the quests are fun it's easy laid out the map and the UI if you get a quest well what I like about this one is it's easy most most games nowadays when you get a map it says this is exactly where you need to go kill this monster exactly here what this game did right is it, it says go here on the map but then when you go there it opens up a wide area on the map and says it could be anywhere within here so that's cool. I, I really like that because it's you do have to stay focused. You can't play the game while watching a show because you, you do have to say, oh, well, it's in this red blob and it could be this whole town. Let me look. Um, so if you like exploring and you like that kind of style, you're going to love this. Um, the game is mature. I would definitely not play with a kid in the room. Um, the fighting style... Again, with most games, the finding styles, I would say, yeah, if a kid's there, don't rush them out. But the cinematics, let's just say at the very beginning, there's a very mature content video. <laughs> if you played the game, you know what I'm talking about, and you're probably laughing about it. But, yeah, don't have kids around when you're playing this game. Uh, but it is a fun one, and I would highly advise play it. It's got your level-up system. It's got your crafting system. Crafting is really fun and done really well in this game so far. I haven't gotten too far I into the craziness and complexity of it, um, so I can't tell if it looks overly complex or if it actually is, um, but for the most part with the first couple crafting things I've, I've had a blast with it. Um, unfortunately, like, like I said, I, I would love to put more time into this game, but normally with open world games I I either completely rush through the main quest and then just be done with it, or it's so massive that I play in the first town for three days straight, and then I'm just like, ah, yeah, I don't go back to this game. <laughs> but but if, if that kind of style is your game, then this, this is a great game. Um, I know the other one that's comparable to it is the Horizon. Is, is that kind of play style, that open realmness? I, I, I think I had more fun with this one because it's not all about stealth, but it's it's easy to just play along. 
And that's my review for this one. If you guys like, hit the like button. If you want to see more, just comment on what you want to see. Thank you and have a great day.